Okay, when applying anything or working with horses' legs or feet, um, the, the one really important thing is setting your position the right way. You'll notice that I am not on my knees, I'm not sitting down, I'm on my feet. And that's, that's a safety issue because if the horse spooks or something, I can always jump away. I'm still on my feet and you should always have at least one sole on the ground <laughs> with a horse. So that's the first thing. You also want to position yourself right next to the horse's leg. And when you're applying a bandage, when you're applying a polo wrap, you, know, you have it in your left hand. The most important thing is that you always remember that this is the horse's tendon and this is the horse's cannon bone. Now the most important thing here is that you always, always, always pull against the cannon bone. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. But just remember that's the most important thing. Keep your sole on the ground and always pull against the cannon. So you always start behind you. And this is where I'm a little bit different than most. You see this line behind you, it's kind of hard to see here in the shadows, but you see there's a, there's a dip right behind his knee, and this is where that big tendon starts, and that's what we're trying to protect. I put this about halfway, halfway over, and I create a big tag, and, and then you, <laughs> Osa just saw something, and so you go right below, below that point of knee, and you leave that tag. Now this is something that is a little bit different than what a lot of folks do, and I'll show you why you do that. Okay, so you see I'm pulling against the cannon bone and it's fairly snug. Now if I were to tell you how hard to do this, you just make sure um, that it doesn't twist, that it's nice and snug, that when you pull, it's nice and snug. And I would say it's about four or five pounds of pressure. I'm not really sure how to explain that, but it's something that you can tell it's nice and tight and snug. And you'll see the last place that I wrapped, you'll see there's a little gap in between. This is about where I want to seat the next one. So when you're aiming, your next wrap, always look for that gap. All right, now we'll show in the front, the best place to start is stop is right below the tip of that, and it's easy with him because he has a pretty big bump right there, um, and I can explain what that is. Um, when you create a little cross in the front, that little gap you can clean up. Again, you tug. Now at this point, at this point you pull that tag down, and the reason for that is that gives him a little bit of extra that gives him a little bit of extra protection behind his leg. And horses do this, you just go with them, it's not a big deal. Um, and you just kind of keep the, hold it kind of close to them so in case they ever do that. It won't go unraveling all over the place. And so now we tuck, tuck that down, make sure it's all smooth. And now we're all the way up to the top and we wrap that back around. Now this is a little bit different. The reason why I leave that tag, and this is what I was taught by polo players, is having that tag and that extra one little piece of protection back there gives them more support, gives them more protection, um, and, uh, and it also anchors the piece down quite a bit. Now I'll show you where the little cross is in the front and we can actually do the count sometime to make it more, a little bit more official, but that's what a, po a polo wrap looks like. Uh, there's some people that may tape that off with a piece of tape that does not go all the way around the leg. The reason why you never put a piece of tape all the way around the leg is that it can constrict that one spot and cause a place where it's putting more pressure on one part of that tendon than the other. So that's pretty important. Um, these hook and, these Velcro or hook and loop, uh, hook and loop uh, closures are pretty good. They're pretty solid. So there you go. There's a nice polar wrap. Let's get the rest of them done.